Australia is well known for its dangerous and deadly creatures. Whether it be snakes, spiders, drop bears, I wanted to focus on the sea life. Although Australia is known for its dangerous and deadly creatures, they can also be beautiful. That is why I chose the blue ringed octopus as my inspiration. Having such a beautiful species be native to Australia is something I love. This video is for the first challenge of the Face Awards. First we're going in with our photo loving primer with the anti redness just to get rid of any red in the face. Then going in with our full coverage concealer. I'm using the purple under my eyes to help brighten them up and the green to reduce red spots. I'm then going in with the Total Control Drop Foundation in the shade Vanilla, directly using the applicator and then blending it out with a sponge. Then using the Gotcha Covered Concealer, I'm just putting that underneath my eyes to cover any dark circles. I'm then just setting that with the HD Studio Finishing Powder. Then going in with the Avant Pop Art Throb Palette, I'm using the blue for my contour. Blending it out with the NYX Cosmetics brush in number 4. Just buffing that brush over my forehead and on my jawline. Using what's left on my brush for a blush. Using the Hot Singles Eyeshadow in Electro Shock and the number 15 brush, I'm just putting that on my hairline. Then just blending it out. I'm going in with that same shadow on my cheekbones and on my jawline. Don't forget to put the shadow on your ears just because it may look a bit strange otherwise. I'm using the blue shade from the Avant Pop palette just to contour my nose. Then I'm just blending it out with a beauty sponge. I'm now using the Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Little Denim Dress for my brows. Just filling them in like normal. I'm just cleaning them up by putting some foundation underneath them. Time to prime my lids with the Milk Jumbo Pencil. Blending it out with my finger. Now going in with the Surreal My Heart Avant Pop palette, I'm using the white shade just to set that base. Going in with that same palette, I'm using the blue just above my crease. I'm now using the bright blue from the Art Throb palette. Blending that out with the number 17 brush. I'm drawing out a thin line just above my crease to create a cut crease using the Liquid Seed Lipstick in Little Denim Dress. I'm then blending that lipstick up with the number 15 brush. I'm then using the Liquid Suede Cream lipstick in the shade Jet Set and just creating another line just to deepen it up. I'm using that same 15 brush to blend it up again. Going in with Foul Mouth from the Liquid Suede range, I'm just deepening that up once more. To cut that crease, I'm just going in with my drop foundation, setting it with that white eyeshadow. Then using a mint coloured shadow from that same palette. And then using Foul Mouth to cut the crease again. Blending it out so there's not a harsh line. Using the yellow shade from the Surreal My Heart palette, I'm just putting that underneath my eyes. Going in with a Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in Foul Mouth, I'm using that for my eyeliner. I like creating my wing with small strokes. I'm then using pigment 11 on my cupid's bow, nose and on my cheekbones as well as the inner corners of my eyes. I'm then using the roll on shimmer in light blue on top of my lids. Now going in with the XXL mascara. I like to use the tip of the brush to separate the lashes. Using the foul mouth liquid suede I'm deepening up my contour. I'm also putting it along my jawline. For my makeup to last, I'm using my matte finish setting spray. I'm then adding some blue glitter to my cheeks and some yellow glitter underneath my eyes. I then went ahead and put some fake freckles on my face using Jet Set. Using the suede lip liner in Jet Set, I'm just outlining my lips. I'm then going in with a liquid suede lipstick in Jet Set. I'm using my Wicked Lashes and I'm bending it to the shape of my eye, then applying it with the back side of a brush, gently blending it into my eye. Using another pair of lashes, I'm stacking them for a fuller look. 
Getting into how I made my headpiece, I'm rolling out some foam clay just so it's wide enough to actually wear on my head and then I'm blending out any of the imperfections and just creating the shape I want. I decide to add some texture with the back side of a brush. I then painted it with an acrylic yellow paint. To paint the blue ringed octopus's rings, I just used the liquid suede lipsticks as well as the NYX Cosmetics white liner. For the blue ringed octopus's tentacles on my chest, I just outlined a rough shape on my chest with a water activated paint. For the next part, I'm using the hot single eyeshadows in Happy Hour and Lull. I decided that the brown was a bit harsh, so I got rid of that part. I then use the high definition blush in summer just to add a bit more dimension. I dipped into both the brown and orange shades just to create a more unique look. Using happy hour I started to create my rings for the blue ringed octopus. I then use a the black shade in the Avant Pop palette with the setting spray from NYX Cosmetics. I wanted the centre of the ring to be pretty dark just so the blue would stand out. A really cool but disturbing fact about the blue ring octopus is that they have enough toxins in their system to kill about 26 adults at once, that's within about 10 minutes. Blue ringed octopus can mainly be found around New South Wales, South Australia and Northern Western Australia. When a blue ringed octopus is provoked, they change colour quickly to a bright yellow and their rings turn a bright iridescent blue. For the base of the rings, I'm going in with Jet Set and Foul Mouth. I kind of alternated it just so it would be a bit different. I'm then going over those rings with a little denim dress. To make those rings pop, I use the white liquid liner just to kind of give it a more neon effect. I then outlined the tentacles with a blue water activated paint. I also use a smaller brush just to get into the smaller details. I put that paint on the side of my arms under my armpits which was really weird. I tried to make a kind of shirt effect. I then went in with a lighter coloured paint and just stippled it over my body. I then outlined the tentacles with happy hour. I then just added some blue glitter over my body. And that is the final look. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Voting commences from May 18th until the 22nd of May and you can vote up to three times a day per email. This round is based solely on votes so with your help I could get to the top 15. I will also let you know how to vote in my description on Instagram, Facebook and on Snapchat. To vote, head over to faceawards.nixcosmetics.com.au.